Welcome back to the Fantastic Marvel Race Cup. My name is Slane Beerman. This is Mutilated Cardboard Cutter with John Dubuck. Last time, Gray was able to place first, and Maroon placed second. Orange, who placed second last time, placed last. And Blue placed seventh for the third time in a row. And Pink placed fifth for the fourth time in a row. Will they keep up the streak? I'm not sure they want to. This is arguably the most important race that has happened so far. The bottom two marbles, after the end of this race, will be eliminated completely from this competition. Right now, Maroon has no chance of this happening, along with Gray and Orange. This is because their point value is too high to be surpassed by both Red and Yellow, who both have 17 points. It is mathematically impossible for those both marbles to pass any of them. Therefore, it's down to White, Pink, Blue, red, and yellow to see who will be eliminated. The more points you have, the less likely you are to be eliminated, obviously, putting red and yellow at the greatest risk with white at the lowest. Let's see how it all pans out, though, in race B7. And welcome to race B7, Tilt and Tumble. As you can see, the entire race is rotated 45 degrees, and that is also where gravity is facing. Looks like pink and maroon are moving on the furthest right now. Now, right now, red, yellow, and blue all need to get a good spot in order to prevent themselves from being cut out of the competition. But it looks like pink is going to enter the third section first into the zigzags, not unlike the spikes we saw in a previous leg, tight squeeze. Now Maroon enters the same section, White and Red are still struggling in the first one. Looks like Yellow might not be going today, because they're doing pretty well. Indeed. But Blue and Red are another story, especially Red. Red is at the highest risk. Maroon and Orange seem to be hindering each other's progress, but they both managed to get up the first step. And Gray also arrives as Pink is leaving. Almost finished the first, or almost finished, and they just enter the straightaway at the bottom. Yellow and Maroon are both down there, and Yellow has basically secured their position in the next few races, not going to get eliminated here. Looks like Blue has reached the steps. If Blue can beat Red, that would be beneficial. But with red coming up, it's not so likely. Seems like white is much further behind than everyone, though. And look at red go up those stairs. Orange has finished after beating over gray. As gray slowly makes it into fifth place. Red is almost at the top of the stairs, and they get out, beating out blue. Likely eliminating blue from the entire competition. Meanwhile, white in the back in the last, not at risk for elimination, but still placing last is not a good place to be. But it looks like it might be over for blue. Indeed, only two points to red's three will likely be enough to knock them out of the competition. Eliminations are so sad. Luckily for yellow, second to last, now in this race places second, which is likely enough to boost them out of the elimination zone. White almost makes it up. Just a few more steps to go. And finally, White makes it over, and they're going to finish in last. Just over three minutes. A very exciting race with several unexpected twists this race was. Pink breaks their streak of fifth place finishes by placing first, which is not a very bad way to break a streak, if I do say so myself. Yellow places second, a very good performance, which most likely ensures them not to be cut from the competition. Rune places third, orange places fourth, gray places fifth, and red places sixth. Blue is not able to break their streak of seventh place, and that is probably enough to kick them out of the competition. And white places in dead last. 
Now on the overall leaderboards, you can see that it is indeed Blue and Red who are eliminated from the entire competition. Yellow is saved by their second place per finish. And Blue, if they had just placed one position better in the just past Red, they would have in fact been tied with Yellow and that would have made a tiebreaker, meaning Blue is once again kicked out of the division by a single placement and a single point. Meanwhile, Maroon expands their lead to 45 points over Gray's 40. Pink is now up in third place with 34. Orange is at 33. White is at 26. See how this shakes out in the next races. In the Division A, Race 8, and Division B, Race 8. I'll see you then.